Hey everyone, this is the first of two videos showing the making of an aluminum cover on a CNC router where I started with a 21 pound block of aluminum and hogged out 18 and a half pounds to end up with a two and a half pound final piece. This video shows the removal of the first 15 pounds from the front side. I started out with a 12 inch diameter by two inch thick piece of ATP5 cast aluminum tooling plate. I'm using cast aluminum because when you remove this much material, wrought aluminum has a propensity to warp. Cast is much more stable. On the top, I added some dowel pin holes to locate it when I flip it over, along with some M3 tapped holes to hold the part down from below, giving me 100% free clearance above. No clamps. I then took a quarter inch thick piece of aluminum tooling plate, squared up the edges so I could locate it on my machine, and added matching dowel pin holes and M3 countersunk holes. This is basically a fancy flip jig. To start out the machining, I used a 6mm Daytron 4-in-1 single flute end mill, number 006-8806K, running at 24,000 RPM, 130 inches a minute, 55 thou optimal load, and 212 thou depth of cut. I did have to drop the feed rate down to about 100 inches a minute as the 130 was just too much load on the machine. This took me down about 5 eighths of an inch out of the total 1 and 7 8 inch cut. Next, I used an 8mm Daytron 4-in-1 single flute, number 006-8808A, running at 24,000 RPM, 625 thou depth of cut, 20 thou optimal load, 70 inches per minute. The chips were huge and it looked really cool, check out those chips, but this setup ended up giving me some ridiculous chatter. I tried varying the speed, feed rate, depth of cut, optimal load. Nothing helped until I completely changed things up and went to 125 thou depth of cut, 62 optimal load, 100 inches per minute, and 24,000 RPM. Here's how it looked after the 8 millimeter cuts. That's the bulk of the material removal. All we have left is the 3D profiling. Lastly, I used a 3 8 inch ball end mill, helical tool number 83422, running at 12,000 RPM, 72 inches per minute, 31 thou step down. There was 15 thou of material left from the previous operations, plus the obvious stair steps. This tool worked great, much better than a quarter inch ball end mill, way faster and better surface finish. This took an entire day with over four hours of cutting and another six hours of setup and mistake fixing. In the end, I was left with my part, 15 pounds of chips that filled up two 13 gallon trash bags and one upset girlfriend when she saw that mess. Make sure to like and subscribe to see part two and the remaining three and a half pounds from the backside.